Ladies uh, and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Factorio the Island. My name, of course, is Orbital Potato. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Oh, well, voice going very, very weird for a second there. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the last little recap episode that I did. Uh, a little bit different, but I thought, you know, a little bit fun to uh, to just go over what we'd actually done over you know, 50 episodes, so we've accomplished a whole bunch of stuff, and uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out the last episode, and uh, you'll see exactly how far we've come and uh, how we got there. Yeah, it was really, really enjoyable to explain, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I, uh, I hope you did. Let me just go down here and get me some more pipe. So, I'm very, very conscious of the fact that our power situation is fine, but it's not exactly as good as it properly could be. So before we, you know, move on with any big infrastructure projects, and if you're smart, and you know, if you've if you've played the game before, you may you may be able to detect that I'm I'm sort of delaying a little bit uh, building my blue flask construction area. Why you ask? Well, it's because it's the most unfun part of this entire game, probably. Uh, it is a it is it is terrible to do. Oh, oh, that was close. Yeah, it's pretty bad to do. Uh, I'm not exactly looking forward to it, but it's something that's going to have to be done. So we're, we're sort of just holding off until the point where I can no longer... Whoa! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, as I was saying, we're, we're holding back uh, until the point where I can no longer avoid doing it. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to place this row manually doesn't really need to be done manually, but it should have been done via robots, but whatever. Uh, it wasn't. The reason that it needed to be done, well, it didn't really need to be done manually, but I hope you you understand what I'm saying is, uh, wait, what? what is going on here? Yeah, this should be connected up here. Thank you. There we go. Uh, yeah, that needed to be placed manually because we needed to get the RoboPort up. We needed to move it to somewhere else. And I don't know where we're going to place it, actually. Uh, in fact, I know exactly where we're going to place it. In line with that gap there. So, up from... Yeah, there. I think that's a pretty good place to go for. Uh, that can go over there. Uh, this train can be moved. You know what? Let's make, let's make an official sighting for our... Uh, for our vehicle when we're over here. Yeah, let's do that. I kind of like that. It kind of looks pretty pretty darn cool. There we go. Yeah. Does that work? I don't know if it actually works. We'll see if that we'll see if that'll work. Yeah, that works perfectly. Great. So our train's gonna be able to park up here and just uh, chill out while we're uh, while we're doing stuff over here. Because let's face it, this is gonna be an area that we're we're probably gonna be working on a fair bit uh, over the next wee while. Biters are going down to attack over there, narrowly missing the train. Lucky, lucky biters, I must say, very, very lucky biters indeed. All right, let's place down those poles there. Let's place down some engines over here. Let's place down some stuff over here. Beautiful. Oh shit, what? Oh, God damn it, I need to move the pole at the top up here. Ah, what is this? Three objects are missing their construction robots. Yes, we do have construction robots on us. We need to deploy them. There we go. Have some construction robots. Three objects missing construction robots. What's the problem here? Why is there an issue? What's the problem over here? I don't understand what the issue is. Uh, this needs to be moved to there. Perfect. And then get the template out. Stick that in there like so. And that should be good. Now, why is there why is there nothing going on here? So 39 objects are missing the material for construction. Material for construction is easy enough to do. Four objects are being damaged. That's fine. All right, let's go down here. Stick in all the materials that we need to give it. Uh, I'll make the medium electric poles right now. Not enough ingredients. Make all of those bad boys. Stick them in there. Perfect. It's going to be some. 
it's gonna be some materials that we're sticking in here. Here we go. Should be most of them, I think. Most of the materials that we actually require. I do not know if it's gonna be enough. Stick that in there. Yeah, so we still need... You know what? Have all six. And we still need eight more, eight more steam engines. Easy enough to do. Easy enough to do. Okay, so let's flip you around. Let's reverse out of here. And let's go and get some more resources. And let me tell you, this is not the only improvements that we're planning to uh, that we're planning to make to this power area. We do plan indeed, or I say I say we, right? I plan. I, I plan right now. This is something that I did in the update video like a heck of a lot. I kept on saying we, 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 we. I was like, no, well, it was me that did it. But at the same time, I just, yeah, I want to share the credit with you guys, you know, for coming along for the entire journey. It's uh, It's been a good one so far, hasn't it? It really, really has been. Why on earth has copper got through? 1,600 iron plate. That is a lot of iron plate. I'll build a lot of steam engines with that. I'll take it. I'll take it. I also need more steel as well. I'm gonna get more steel. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I was saying. I always kept. I kept on saying we in the update video. You know when I talked about stuff, it was always, oh, you know, we, 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 we. But, uh, but no, I need to learn to be more selfish. Apparently, uh, but no, we're gonna <laughs> again, again with the we. Oh my goodness, what is my problem here? Um, I am planning to build some more accumulators. And accumulators should mean that we, that's right, we, um, well, it should basically mean that we're going to be in a better situation for uh, for going up against the biters. Don't know why I took the long way around there, but hey-ho. Alrighty then, let's stick a whole bunch of engines in there. And more, perfect. That should be... A whole bunch of good stuff. Eight objects are missing the materials for construction. Three objects are missing the repair packs. Um, they shouldn't be. They shouldn't be. We should be able to fix it quite easily. Also, I need to remember to move a laser turret because, uh, I'm, or to build a laser turret and stick it down here because in the last episode there was one destroyed over there, and uh, that's not something that's you know that's great. We don't want to see that happening. We fill up a coal over here. Yeah, we're pretty full up. Also, we're uh, we've got a fair bit of power overflowing at this current moment in time. I'm kind of happy with that actually. Um, I see no real need to uh, build any more than we currently are. So your objects are missing repair packs. Oh, why are you unloading the coal from my train? Okay, you you unloaded the coal from my train. Congratulations. Do you feel like a like a big man inserter right now? Oh, you fucking unloaded it all. You you little fucking whore of an inserter. Oh my god. Uh, repair packs. We've got repair packs in here. What's the issue? Why is... Why is this such a problem? So apparently I need to put repair packs in here. Well, okay. That's fine then. Yeah, that, that that's fine with me. If we move this bad boy up by just a little bit, then we can get the secondary wall in as well. So if we can if we can repair the outer wall, then that would be hugely amazing, actually. And that's still theoretically within the boundaries. If it's not, no, it totally should be. That's fine. That's fine. It works, folks. It works. If it works, then that's grand that is absolutely fine with me we'll stick those robots in there we'll stick in all of the repair packs that we could ever want and or need and all of the walls should be repaired in uh, well maybe not pretty good time but but goodish time also i'm gonna build a shotgun i'm gonna build some shotgun shells why not uh, i really do want to get rid of these stupid rocks so only way to do it is to do it in style well I think it's one of the only ways to do it anyway. You can run over it with a car, though. There we go. And I'll go on a rock hunting spree, shall I? 
I'm really, really happy with the way that this area has stood up. Like, it's been pretty much indestructible. The whole time. Should we, should we get in a car and do a drive-by? I think we should. Let's get in a car and uh, do a drive-by. Excuse me? Did I? Yeah, I stuck coal in here. My god, holy cow, that is a lot of biters. Oh my god, my car is on super low health. Rest in peace, world. Oh no! Get in! I want to be protected. Oh, rip that robot. Rest in peace, robot. Oh my god, this is insane. Those robots are just, you know, they're just flinging themselves. Alright, maybe this isn't the most efficient way of, uh, of repairing all these walls. But you know what? It certainly works, doesn't it? It gives, it gives the biters a target. Fuck me. There's a lot of damage. I'm just gonna walk outside and pop it myself, eh? You know, do it the old-fashioned way. My god, walking through the corpses right now, that is... Quite intensely disgusting, actually, to consider that we just, uh, you know, killed that many. But we got rid of a... Got rid of a good few, I think, I suppose. I'll do another drive-by over here. Don't come around. Attack the walls. There we go. That's better. That's the way. Easily done. Easily done. And now... You tried to repair pack me, but you didn't have enough repair pack in you. Cool. Well, you know what? I was just, you know, I was just wanting to explore around in the car a little bit. It's been a while since I've actually gotten the car. Um, I do want to get a tank as well. I really would like a tank. I would love a tank. Um, you know what? While we're over here, let's... Uh, can, we, can we fit through here? Oh, we can as well. Beautiful. You see that? That's how it's done, folks. That is how it's done. Uh, over here, we've sort of started developing a little bit of a, an accumulator farm. And as I've already said in this episode, that is exactly what I want to continue. Like, I totally, totally cannot, you know, cannot say enough how, uh, how important accumulators actually are to us. Uh, they really are very, very good. So let me just get as many as possible. It's pretty much what we want to do. And this, you know, it's not the perfect area to do it in, but it's a good enough area. Like, it doesn't really matter where we do it, as long as we just, you know, have some. And uh, 120-something megajoules is, uh, is quite a lot, you know? So I'm glad that we're going to be able to pump them all full of energy. That is really, really awesome. Oh, it looks like I fucked up the train placement. There we go. Seemingly, I did. And now we're completely out of coal. Because uh, all of the coal is in my car. There's like four stacks of coal in my car. See that? Four stacks of coal right in my car for apparently no reason. All right, grand. Okay, where are we under attack? Over here. Oh, don't chase the train. Not like it actually matters, but why would you bother chasing the train? Silly, silly, silly robots. Not robots, biters. Wait, we are under attack there. Yeah, we should be fine. Alright, let's go and pick up some more batteries, see if we can build uh, another turret or two. That would be kind of nice. As in, laser turret. We might have to actually resort to... Uh, or resort, should I say. Not result. Uh, we might actually have to resort to using the old type of turrets. You know, that's not the worst idea that, that we've ever had, but it's just not an idea that I really want to you know, come to fruition. Okay, holy shit, we've got more than enough, uh, more than enough robots here. Still got a couple of electric engine units over there. The great thing is that we can control how many, um, okay, stop. We can control how many, um, robots are actually built because we have to manually restock electric engines. And at the moment, we are choosing not to restock these two you know, crates over here, chests over here, whatever, whatever you want to call them. We're choosing not to restock them because we've got more than enough robots at this current moment. I don't think we really need to worry about it. I mean, what's that? 
robots. 256 robots. That's pretty insane. Okay, we got a lot of... A lot of... A lot of advanced circuits, but... They are probably... Well, most of them are going to be poured into blue science, which we're probably going to have to start in the next episode. Lissai... Uh, or maybe the episode after that. Maybe if I want to procrastinate for another entire episode, then... Uh, then I have to, then I, then I'll, you know, I'll do that, but if we just take a moment to look at the stuff that is available with Blue Science, we've got aircraft, and I don't, I don't really, I don't really know what this is going to entail for us, because it's very, very exciting. It's very, very exciting stuff. It's a mod. We don't know what it's going to be, so, you know, that is, that is really exciting. That is very, very exciting, and we can get cargo planes, jets, Ooh, I like jets. Or a flying fortress. That would be something to take out uh, take out the biters with. And gunships. Oh, man. This is just badass, isn't it? But yeah, we're going to be doing that in the next episode for uh, for absolutely sure. Um, what are we going to do with the remainder of this episode? I don't really know, to be honest. We sort of accomplished we sort of accomplished the goals that I had set out at the start of the episode. Maybe I just set really, really bad goals. Or maybe I just completed them quickly. Or, or maybe... Or maybe I uh, I didn't really factor in the whole, you know, doing what I needed to be done with robots. And let's face it, we did what we needed to be done pretty darn quickly. In fact, you know what? Let's let's build some more. Uh, let's build some more. Let's build some more lines of furnaces. Might as well, you know. Seems to be no reason why we shouldn't. I talked about doing this a little bit later on, but if we've got all the resources here right now, I think we might actually be in a position where, yeah, we can just do a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of furnaces, a whole bunch of steam engines. Even that's the word for it: steam engines, not furnaces. How are we doing power-wise? Even when we're under attack, I want to I want to keep a little eye on the. Uh, on how we're doing you know so it's important it's very very important to me how much are we producing how much are we produ producing so it looks like our consumption of iron ore over the last minute has skyrocketed oh man look at that look at that that is beautiful so you can see exactly when the train arrives so the supply of copper the supply of copper is pretty consistent the production of copper is pretty consistent, but wow, this is insane. You can see exactly when the train arrives. The train arrives right at the very lowest of the low point. All of it is produced, and then as soon as it is all used up, it's back to the baseline level of the stuff that we're getting from the, the little mine on the island, which is... I'm just going to show you. Yeah, little mine on the island there, and the little mine on the island there. And that's the baseline. That is That is insane. I did not realize that that was uh, as interesting as it actually was. But holy cow. That is, that is, that is quite crazy. That is quite crazy. Look at the crazy, crazy line. That's, that is awesome, isn't it? I mean, come on. That is pretty darn cool. Jeez Louise. There was a, a period of time where we didn't have any iron delivered over there. Okay, it's, it's fair enough. And wow. Oh, that, that must have been the dark days of the power cut. And 50 hours. Ugh, oh, we barely scratched the surface. See that? Barely scratched the surface. All right, ladies and gents, we're going to end the episode here. My name, of course, has been Over to Potato. In the next episode, we're going to be moving on to bigger and better things. Probably blue science. I don't want to call it, but probably blue science. So, yeah. Yeah. Tune in then. All right, ladies and gents, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.